Hey guys, TKC here, the Kaijudo channel, and today I'm going to be talking about the sealed decks that my friend and I played at Locals this past weekend. Uh, just show you how awesome sealed is and the different decks that you can create out of it. And we're going to go ahead and start with mine because I was the loser. Wah, wah, wah. And uh, just show you what I ended up making. So here it is on the screen right now. I decided to make a Fire Nature Water, um, I guess, rush ish aggro. I had a lot of cheap creatures and I felt that I think Rush could actually work pretty well and uh, actually I had a couple archetypes in here as well you could guess you could call it a Dracon Megabug deck as well yes I used Megabugs because I pulled Xenomantis as a super rare and I also pulled Launcher Locust so I thought that would be a pretty interesting combo with the other Megabugs that I pulled but that turned out to be a huge mistake because Megabugs did absolutely nothing during that whole match so we're just going to go down the curve here. We got Blaze Belcher here starting off at level 1. Very nice. Fits the Rush theme really well. And for level 2s, I got Ambush Scorpion, which I guess doesn't really combo too well with the Mega Bugs, but it is a Mega Bug after all. Uh, Dracon Weapon Smith, Canina the Igniter, Thorny Creeper, and then one Refi. I believe Refi was my only blocker alongside Flurigil Manta. So it's just really nice to have those, you know, few blockers just in case things go wrong. Dracon Weapon Smith combos really well with the Blastforge Slaver and the Super Bazooka Volcanodon that I pulled. So I end up having like a, a mini Dracon kind of archetype. I also have Sky Crusher's Elite that I pulled as a rare. So I decided to make a deck around Sky Crusher's Elite as well and be sure to get tons of 1,000, I mean 2,000 or less creatures so that I could come into play and they'll have fast attack right away. Uh, that plan didn't work out too well, but it did really work well in the first game where I won single-handedly right away. So for level 3, 3-Eyed three Dragonfly, another Mega Bug, Little Hissy, it's also 2,000 or less, Flurry Gill for the blocker, Aqua Seneschal, two Memory Swarms, they can't be blocked, so I thought that was very nice as well. Uh, but I never got that onto the field the whole match, which kind of sucks. Also, I forgot the spells down here, but we also have Ice Blade, nice removal, very cheap, and Breach the Veil to search for my creatures so I could get that Sky Crushers or whatever uh, so that was really helpful Sniper Mosquito, Karate Carrot and two Rasalkas in the level 4 slot I was kinda missing a lot of level 4s uh, but it did good work Sniper Mosquito uh, another Mega Bug, it actually has 4000 power so it, it could happen that it can't be blocked once Launcher Locust is on the field uh, Karate Carrot is really awesome goes up to 5000 and hits mana when it gets banished and Rasalka uh, is very good as well, bouncing creatures that are really annoying. Uh, for level 5, two Forest Hornets. Uh, sadly, they just did not work out. I mean, this is the second time I tried to work Forest Hornets in a deck, and they just, they don't really, I never want to play Forest Hornet. I never have a situation where Forest Hornet is really helpful for me, but maybe I'm just playing it wrong. Um, Sky Crusher's Elite, uh, that card was a boss for sure, and Mediasaur, which would be an even sicker combo with Sky Crushers, because you play Sky Crushers, and then next turn you play Mediasaur, banish something, and then Mediasaur and Elite can go in, uh, so that's really cool. So for level 6, we got King Bluefish! Uh, it's a double breaker and cheap at that, and so that's why that's there. Uh, I also pulled a Mighty Shouter, believe it or not, so a Mighty Shouter easily went to the deck. You know, you swing, and then bam, you get rid of a level 3 or less, which could be helpful. Uh, Launcher Locust, the, the main reason why Mega Bugs were going to be useful in here, but I never got it to work, sadly. And then I got Xenomantis to complement the Launcher Locust, while also having a really big double breaker. And I also got that Milpora right there, which is really nice to get rid of anything you want. And for the last two spells down there, we got two Teleports, more Bounce, and you get Draw as well. And I actually pulled a Barrage, so that actually did lots of work in one of the games. But I think I still lost that game, which made me sad. But anyways, that is my deck. Um, it didn't work as well as I'd like it to be. Um, I blame the Mega Bugs, so uh, I gave them a try, but they did not work out for me in the end, sadly. Anyways, now we're going to go on to my friend's deck, and I honestly really like the deck that my friend made. It just worked so well. And everything just was in his favor in those last two games. And he definitely played the right cards after looking at his pool. Very awesome deck. I love it. So here we go. Level 2, he has Essence Elf and Sunstalk Seed. 
Very nice, cheap blockers. Uh, he's also playing Mana Bind and Covering Fire. I personally think Covering Fire is one of those underlooked cards. Um, I mean, Sonic Wing in the old game was the same thing, but level 3. And now it's level 1, so you could just randomly tap 1 mana, no, it doesn't matter which one it is, and bam, you have an unblockable creature for the turn. And I think that is very, very underrated. Um, I definitely expect that card to see more play in some sort of deck, for sure. The Mana Bind... Um, I mean, I guess he had a legit reasoning because uh, of the fact that maybe he needs more mana at some point and he could just go ahead and put anything in mana that he doesn't really need, like, for example, the three-eyed dragonfly over here at level three or stuff that he knows will probably be killed next turn, so he just decides to put it in mana instead to benefit him. Um, yeah, so I guess it's more of just a limited uh, kind of card because it doesn't really fit too well in Constructed. So uh, he definitely made good use of that. He didn't actually use it, but uh, it was smart thinking on his side. Uh, level 3 has got some gas bags here, so uh, you know more cards that go into his mana. Very awesome. Uh, regroup he has as a spell. Like I said, Regroup is very awesome and limited because you know you can just swing with a bunch of cheap things, end of turn, Regroup, they all untap, and then uh, you're kind of screwed. Uh, that happened to me, and I think the last game of the match, I just couldn't do anything about his field because everything was untapped. And at level 3, he has tons of level 3 plays here. He has the Logo Scan for draw, he has Aqua Seneschal for more draw, Razor Hide for mana, Excel, 3 eyed Dragonfly for a bit of power that he might need. Uh, he has another blocker in Jade Monitor, and then he has two Blinder Beetles, which were easily MVP for him. He just kept on playing Blinder Beetle, tapping my guys and killing things. Very awesome card there. Skyweb Scourier actually was not that bad either. You know, he just kept on coming in and then getting untapped and stuff. And because my deck didn't have a lot of blockers and only had two, it kept on coming in for shields and then untapping itself, and I couldn't do anything about it. So that's definitely another underlooked card in uh, this match for sure. Uh, he also had two Rusalkas and a Karate Carrot and a Sniper Mosquito. So both our level fours were very similar, except he also had an Argus Vigilant Seer which I don't think he managed to pull off, but considering all the tap he has in his deck, he could easily draw a card just by tapping something and then going in with Argus. Uh, so uh, Argus would have definitely been really good for him if he managed to tap something while having that out. Uh, for his spells, he has two Return of the Soil, Spy Mission, and Crystal Memory. Very awesome level 4 spells there. Spy Mission for more draw, Crystal Memory to search anything he needs, and Return to the Soil for very efficient removal. He definitely got some really good cards in this deck. I, it's really cool. Uh, level 5, he got Mana Storm for even more Mana Excel to get up through these three big guys, which I'll explain later. Uh, he also played Portal Tech, but he never actually got it off in a game. But uh, that could easily be a finisher, especially in Limited. You have a bunch of creatures on the field, and you're like, okay, let's go in. Screw your blockers. I'm going to play Portal Tech. All my creatures, actually three, sorry, three of my creatures can't be blocked this turn, and bam, go in for the game. He That probably would have happened if we played more games, for sure. Uh, so now here are his three big dudes over here. We got Grandger, Tower Keeper. Uh, really big blocker, really hard to deal with. The only cards I really have to deal with it are pretty much like my two Rasalkas to bounce it and teleport. Um, so I couldn't really do too much to Grandger. Uh, also, Brave Giant, he pulled two actually, but decided to go for one because his curve would have been a little bit too slanted towards the expensive side. Uh, but Brave Giant, even though it's just a level 7, 7,000 double breaker, still puts in work. And he also has Earth the Overlord, which he called Sephiroth. Uh, Final Fantasy reference there anyways. But uh, yeah, it definitely looks like Sephiroth and acts like it as well. It just comes in, taps everything that's not a blocker. Um, and uh, you just go in for game. Um, really awesome stuff. Uh, I definitely loved his deck. Like It was really well planned out. And he has pretty much everything he needs. He has mana, excel, he has drop power, he has tap. And untap, unblockable... And he has, you know, three blockers. He had it all going for him in his deck, and I'm definitely proud in what he made here, considering he has never played Dual Masters um, and only played a little bit of Kaijudo. Uh, he actually opened these packs and did not even know what most of these cards did and still made a really awesome deck. So um, props to him. He definitely played a very good game. And I uh, definitely enjoyed the matches that we played that day. So that's pretty much it with the sealed decks that we played. Uh, hope you enjoyed the different crazy things we both did with our decks. You know, me with my Mega Bugs, him and his awesome mana and big blockers and light and draw and everything that just destroyed me. 
It was definitely a fun experience and hope to play him in the future for more duels. Hopefully he still sticks with this game. Um, I'll try to get him to league at some point. I don't think he'll be going to league this week, um, but I'll just keep on trying to get him to these leagues even though they're kind of far away, not too far. I mean, it's about like half an hour drive. Um, you know, with public transportation, it's actually a little bit longer. It's more like an hour, but you know, what can you do? It's Kaijudo. Got to do what you can to play Kaijudo. And I can't wait to enter Kaijudo League tomorrow. And right before I leave tomorrow, I'm going to be posting the deck that I'll probably be playing at League and hope it goes well. I have lots of stuff to test with this deck, um, but I guess I'll just give you a sneak peek right now and say, well, it's obviously using this card right here, Keeper of Dawn. Okay, guys, this is TKC. Sign off. See you later, guys.